Oh, well, this is funny. Uh, Michelle Bachman. The other day. Said that it's, uh, well, let me, let me, let's hear from her and see what she said. This is a rather interesting interpretation as to why people don't get health insurance. One argument that the government was trying to make is that somehow health care is uniquely different. Government can force us from inactivity, not buying a health insurance, to making us buy one. And the point is, health insurance is not uniquely different. It's still an activity that some people choose to engage in, but 40 million people do not. And the premise was made that people don't buy insurance because they can't afford it. That's not true. There are people who just decide that they want to roll the dice and take their chances that they won't need to have health insurance. So there are just people who just don't get insurance just because they love the risk, because they want to roll the dice. It's like, it's like, you know, parachuting, bungee jumping, you know, or uh, what was that, what was that movie with, uh, with uh, Keanu Reeves and Gary Busey or something like that, wasn't it? Was it like they jumped out of airplane, like they were adrenaline heads? Now, if Michelle Bachman was here, not only would I be incredibly surprised, but I would ask her, so you're saying that if it was zero, that if health insurance cost zero, that you'd still have people who are like, no way, don't want it, even though it costs nothing, because I like to feel risk. My guess is that even Michelle Bachman would say, well, of course they would take it. And then I would say, well, what about if it was $1 a year? And we would just keep going up until she said at one point, okay, that's one people. So obviously it's cost. Now, what I think she's trying to say is there are some people who could afford it but choose not to have it. That's right. That's about 2% of the population of the uninsured, people suspect. We all know the arguments as to why health insurance is different from any other commodity because health insurance is the way that people pay for health care in this country. And if they don't use health insurance to pay for health care, then we all pay for it. It's not like uh, the price of broccoli would go down if everybody uh, bought broccoli. It might might go up because it's something that you grow. Price of computers might go down if everybody bought computers, but it's not the same because in insurance, if you don't buy it, when you go to the hospital, which everybody does at one point in their life, you are externalizing that cost to me and the rest of us taxpayers and insurance buyers. That's why it's different. Keep playing. And the other thing that they confused is the fact that they equate health insurance with health care. That's not true. This is not a unique thing where the right. government can overstep the bounds of the Constitution and force us to do something we one... don't want to do. Yeah. Well, health insurance is the only which in which health care is paid for in this country by the vast majority of Americans. I'm talking about over the course of a lifetime, there is no American, unless they die very young, I guess, where medical care will not be, in some form or another, paid for by health insurance, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, or private insurance. That's why people often equate those and sometimes mistakenly conflate them. But, of course, Michelle Bachman is bat crap crazy, so I don't even know why I bother.